So in this chapter, I want to finally uh, stop messing around with the pre-built meta rigs, and I want to explore how we can make our custom meta rigs. I have a new scene here in Blender. The rigify add-on is enabled, and you sh if you follow the long, you should have it enabled too. If you don't, please go back and enable it. And so I'm going to select everything in the default scene and delete it. And I'm going to press Shift A armature and just create a single bone. I don't want to mess around with those metrics anymore. And so to create our own metrics, first we need to explore where all the options for Rigify are. As I probably mentioned earlier, uh, they're all over the place. That's what makes Rigify a little bit unintuitive and uh, difficult to work with. But once you know them, it's not so difficult. Uh, most of them, especially when it comes to working with meta rigs are over here in the armature tab. Um, you can kind of move these fields around, but if you didn't, uh, your rigify fields should be around the bottom. And so you can see everything that is labeled with rigify is part of the rigify add-on. We have some bone groups, layer names, and rigify buttons, which we already uh, worked with a little bit. Um, and uh, there is one more Rigify option in the Bone tab, however, it is only available in Pose mode. So when you switch to Pose mode, you should see this Rigify type field. And it, this, this field is extremely important, but unfortunately it's kind of hidden that way. Something similar happens in the Armature tab as well. Right now we are in Pose mode and under Rigify button, we see these Generate Rig button and Advanced Options. Uh, if I switch to Object Mode, we see the same thing. But if I switch to Edit Mode, suddenly there's a list of items and a button. And uh, another part of Rigify is over here in the End Panel. Uh, however, right now you probably won't see anything. Uh, there's some Rigify Dev Tools over here. But uh, mostly the options that you'll get there are options for the generated rig, not for the meta rig. So once you uh, generate your rig and start posing and animating it, th then you will work here. So for now, we are going to leave the end panel alone. Also, uh, the rigify bone groups and rigify layer names uh, have to do with usability. It, they can help you make your rig more user friendly, but we can leave them alone for now to keep thing, things simple. So really the only two areas that you have to pay attention to are these uh, Rigify buttons and in Bone tab when you switch to Pose mode there is Rigify type. So there are two areas and uh, you have to be aware that uh, they kind of change or disappear depending on the mode you're in. If you remember earlier I said that uh, Rigify works with building blocks, these limbs and spines and uh, basic and other. Well, if I go to edit mode under armature and look at this, this list of the uh, under Rigify buttons, these are these uh, building blocks that I was talking about. This is one way to get those building blocks. So I'm going to select this bone, this standard bone, and I'm going to delete it. And uh, let's select the first item in this list and click Add Sample. And as you can see, this uh, chain of three bones appeared. Now, if I go to Pose mode and select the first bone and then switch to the Bone tab, under Rigify Type, you will see that this bone has the rig type basic copy chain. So again, if we look at the mind map that I showed earlier, I said that meta rigs are nothing more than standard Blender armature with a special property. And this rig type, this is the property I was talking about. And so if we click or select the other bones, we can see that they don't have a rig type, but that, that's how Rigify works. It only needs the first bone uh, to have a property, and then it figures out what to do with the other ones. Believe it or not, this is a meta rig. We have a meta rig, so let's let's call it my meta rig. Okay. So now, if uh, so, if I switch to object mode or even pose mode and go to to the armature tab, I can now I now have the uh, generate rig button. I can click it and let's hide the meta rig. And you can see that I have uh, this uh, generated rig with with a root and three uh, very uh, basic bones that I can manipulate. 
let's unhide the meta rig, uh, hide the generated rig. So this is one way to create the building blocks. Another way is again, if I go to uh, edit mode and just press shift A, I'll generate a new bone, move it a bit on the x-axis, and then I'm going to subdivide it a couple of times. So I have a chain that looks basically identical to this, to the one that was generated by the add sample button. However, if I go to pose mode, select this bone, move to the uh, bone tab, I can see that it has no rig type. None of these uh, bones has a rig type. So I'm going to select the first uh, bone in this chain uh, and under rig type, I'm going to select basic copy chain. And now I'm going to unhide my rig. If you remember, if your rig is hidden, you'll have a rig generation error. So make sure you unhide it. And now I'm going to go to, uh, to the armature tab and uh, click generate rig, hide my meta rig, go to pose mode. And as you can see, uh, the this uh, chain of bones was generated by the sample that I added and this was completely made from a new bone uh, and so you can see that it it makes no difference the, the result is the same if I go back to my meta rig there is nothing uh, magical about adding a sample just just like there is nothing magical about adding these meta rigs the only a kind of magical thing happens here uh, when you add the property uh, which tells Rigify what to do with these bones. As an exercise, let's delete this uh, generated rig and go back to the meta rig. As an exercise, I would encourage you to go to edit mode in armature tab and generate all of these uh, samples. Click the next one, uh, basic pivot, and then go to pose mode, uh, go to the bone, tab and see the rigify type okay next uh, go back to edit mode create another one go to pose mode and check out its uh, rig, rig type and uh, this could be can be a little bit uh, boring but i really encourage you to do it i have prepared this blend file that you can look at uh, it's called rigify samples organized i'm going to open it now and uh, you, you'll be able to access it too and in this file, I've done exactly what I just uh, asked you to do. I have created each and every uh, one of the samples and uh, I have also organized them a little bit. I told you that there are four uh, groups of building blocks and I've organized them in this file in, the, in this way. The basic group, the limbs, the spines and uh, other. Also above each of those building blocks, I have their name. So what you may notice is that the names of each building block follow this pattern of something dot something. And the, the first part before the dot is the name of the group. So basic, limbs, spines. The second part of the, the name basically explains what the building block is supposed to do. Uh, however, I have to warn you that these names are not logical I'm not sure why. Uh, for example, why is this super copy? I have no idea. Uh, this all this super copy does is copies a single bone from the meta rig to the uh, final rig. In my opinion, it should be called simply copy. Uh, here is another one: simple tentacle. Why is it simple tentacle? There is no special tentacle, no super tentacle. Why is this one simple? I have no idea. Some of them do make sense. For example, this super limb is a preset that combines the arm, the leg and the paw in, in, one, in one building block. So it's a, it's a workflow improvement. The super spine is another one that kind of makes sense. So we have the basic spine and the super spine, what it does, if I go in here in pose mode and check out the rig type, this uh, super spine preset creates a basic spine, a basic tail, and a super head. Oh, and by the way, why is, why is it super head? Why is the spine basic spine and uh, the tail is basic but the head is super? I have no idea. But the super spine combines basic spine, basic tail and super head in one. The super chain, okay, it's as opposed to the normal copy chain, this one is a super chain. 
the face is a super face so uh, i'll just uh, uh, my advice is not to pay too much attention to to these uh, to the super and so on in the names another thing that i want to point out is that all of these uh, bones that you see were created using the add sample button so there are 18 of them however not every one of them actually is a rig type but i already showed you one example the super spine which can be created from from the samples is not an individual rig type it's just three rig types that appear together so it's just a workflow improvement so this one i can kind of remove from the rig types another one like that is the rear paw uh, again the naming is weird it's called rear paw but really what it is is a paw a palm and a couple of tentacles why is it called rear paw i have no idea so i'm going to move that one away as well uh, another one is uh, the super limb it combines the arm preset the leg preset and the paw preset all in one but there are no additional options so this is also just a simple workflow improvement i can remove it so even though there are 18 samples functionally speaking there are 15 building blocks that uh, we can use in rigify and so you know you can either use this file and go through each of these building blocks and uh, try to find their rigify type or you can of course uh, make your own single bone go to edit mode add the samples and uh, then look for the rig type another exercise that i think uh, would could be useful is i'm going to create a new file delete everything and then shift a armature let's add the, the human meta rig go to pose mode and again try to find the rig types i can show you with the humanoid the rig type property for the leg is in the, this top bone for the arm is also in the in the top in the first bone of the chain this one is a super copy so it's a single bone this one is the same this one holds the uh, property of the head so the head is actually head and neck uh, if I select the, the topmost bone, uh, you can see that there is one more bone hidden uh, beneath it. So uh, if I select it, you can see that that's, that's what holds the property for the super face. So yeah, uh, you can keep adding, for example, an animal and like the bird and uh, you can find out that it has a super limb, set, that the type is set, set to paw. Yeah, I would encourage this exercise. Uh, so that's it for this chapter, let's move on. The next chapter will be available soon or it may already be uploaded. Details will be in the video description or just go to cgdive.com slash rigify where you'll find the latest chapters, additional resources and information about advanced lessons that I'm working on. If you want to support me, click like and subscribe.